let's first talk about this Dan Hurley story. So Dan Hurley returning to UConn. Did, were you surprised by the number? The number that we I thought they, it would be a, a higher dollar figure. I think it was six years, seventy million. Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not saying that's not enough money. No, I but but a lot of money. That, it would have made him top six. But I think we were thinking it was going to be something an offer he couldn't refuse. And so of. and so that was the deal. So the number I gave was six years, a hundred million. And I think hundred million. What he got him. Uh, I, I think this wasn't a real offer, and I get that's hard to say with six years, 70 million, but that's not a real mm. offer for a team that's going to have LeBron for one more year, and then you have complete uncertainty after that. It, I don't think that's a real offer. I don't, I, because I, I get you can say, uh, well, we're going to make him a top six, offer, huh? but no, no, but you say, I'm going to make him a top six high paid coach his first year. In six years, he's going to be the 15th highest paid coach. Yeah. So why would he take it, that it, deal? Unless you yeah. say, I'm going to make it 100 in, it's going to balloon because we believe in you. Escalate. And yeah, I'm going to escalation. get you down there, or I can stay in college and wait for a better offer in two years from a team that I know has a future versus a, young, a team. A young core. Yeah, yeah. Versus a team that's struggling. That was an eight seed with LeBron, and then he's going to retire. And then what do we get? Yeah. Like, I get where he's, where his headspace is, where it's like, you know, you can't make me middle. And then in two years, it's in three years, it's my fault that we're not winning because you can't put together a team anymore because you can't get a superstar and you're having me trying to go around the league and get superstars. And maybe they'll get a Donovan Mitchell or maybe they'll get somebody else to help bridge that gap. Mm-hmm. Uh, but what, what, what it's at right now, that number was, was too low. That number was way I too think, low I think you're right. uh, for theory, trying man. to get the best coaching name you could probably still find on the market. Cause that's what this is. is the best yep. coaching name you can find on the market. It's a two time national champion. He built a culture that you're trying to build. He has everything you say Mm -hmm. for a guy that can you believe could transition your team to a new generation. Yeah, 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 post LeBron. LeBron, You feel like he could help build the culture of the Lakers going forward. All those pieces to say, well, we're we're going to do that, but we want to be safe. That we want to give you six years, but we're not really making a commitment in five or six years because we feel the numbers are going to go up in five or six years anyway. And then you'll be the 15th highest paid coach, and so it doesn't really matter. We can fire you at that point if we need to. So it's not a real six-year commitment until yeah. you put that number that's real big. Now, if they didn't ever want him or they didn't – but this is what I thought. I, I joked about this, but I think this was, well, if we get him on the right deal, we'll take him, but we'd still rather have like J.J. or we'd still rather have somebody that's more of a – you know, that's can that we get to be in charge because we get Dan Hurley. I don't think I don't think Rob Palenka, I think he loses power. I think Jeannie Buss yeah. loses power. Basketball. Yeah, you're right. Good point. He's got because he's got too many skins on the wall. Yeah, and so you start yeah. to put in people yeah. that have others, and he's going to want to hire people. And so if you bring in somebody that maybe is lower, you keep all your power. It, it feels like that's what the Lakers move is, and, and maybe it was that that was just that's what the money was, and they didn't have the money up I front to offer you, it. But it feels like it was. I joked about it before because I was like, this is kind of a Lakers thing they do, where they'll show and they'll go, we're the Lakers, so we can have a meeting with whoever. Like, oh, don't yeah, answer the phone. Because it helps you. It's like Texas. You'll get a raise from it anyway. Yeah, yeah. Like, even if you don't take yeah, the Yeah, because he's negotiating with UConn yeah. right now anyway. And yes. and so, yeah, I think that this was something where he, they knew he was going to come in. And they go, well, if he takes a six-year $70 million, then we, yeah, we're dominating. We <laughs> we're win that. Bargain. <laughs> yeah, we're getting a bargain yeah. on the best available coach in the, in the coaching market right now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Or we could... Or we could just, you know, step back. Was, say we offered him a number. Say, hey, say, that, all your fans are like, we did you everything? Hey, man, we offered him. We, we offered, offered him we offered $70 him. million, dollars, <laughs> and he turned it down. So we had to go get this other guy that was a little bit cheaper, and we knew we could control a little yeah. bit better. Oh, man, it makes that J.J. Reddick thing now a lot more palatable. And they may not yeah, Doesn't they it? may not still hire J.J. Reddick. If they Reddick. don't do it, I'm just saying, if they, they, they do could, it. But whoever they, they hire at this point, I don't know, are you, unless like, you're are you yeah. going after Bill Self now? Are you going after another great college coach? There's no NF- NBA Whoa. coach that's currently available that's that great coach that you can go find. That there's not right, one not available. Not if you're going to offer them six years, seventy million, though, like you said. No, they're well, not going to leave their position for that. Yeah, and and I mean, any of those people you're going to hire are not going to be because you can't say a young person. Dan Hurley was one of the younger. You have to go college if you're going to go younger. If you're going to go NBA at this point. You can't go unproven and yeah. give him a six year deal. You want to give him a two or three, you know, a three year deal and go get him. But it, it's. Yeah, it, it it felt like that number was much lower than I thought it would be. Uh, just because, I, why would he, you know, because you're also talking about at UConn, we said Bill Self is making around 12 to 13 a year. If he's going to yeah. make around 12 or 13, he can make that in college. He knows know. where he's at. He understands the safety of it. He understands he's got two national titles. So there's he's everyone in UConn. Recruiting. 
yeah, yeah you got he, he you know level. six years he's still going to be have favor there as a two-time yeah. national champion he's a made man he's a made man he's a made man in college now yeah you want to go to the nba where he didn't have that status you got to pay him for to leave that that status yeah the i'm with you i think i i love that theory i agree with your theory 100 i think it's now what they do going forward we don't know but I agree with your theory that it's kind of a they always said call it the, the fake show. All the hate the uh, Lakers haters that yeah. was a fake. That was a faux offer. It that did. Was a, it didn't Lakers, feel that was a like offer. again. I said <laughs> the, the number I had. Yeah. I mean, they're all just. But I had six years, so hundred million. The six years was right, but that that's seven. That's seven. That, that 30 70, million off. Yeah, it just it's not that much. I mean, you figure he's going to make nine or ten his first year, and it'll it'll kind of grow. Less than twelve million a year. It's less than twelve million a year. It's, it's, it's not. Yeah, that's not. A, that, that's it not should have been. It should have been. It starts. It should have been. It started at seventy million, and then it worked its way up. Yeah, to, like he started at twelve, like whatever, twelve million a year. Yeah, yeah. And he was able to work his way up to eighteen million. Yeah, or whatever it is. Not, not we're going to renegotiate maybe. if you're doing well because what's the incentive to? Come? I'm already doing well. Like yeah. I don't need this. <laughs> you need me. I don't need this. And I yep. get you could say the schedule's rough and everything else, but if you're hiring a coach like that. You don't want to hire a coach because he thinks the schedule's too tough in college. Now, he may say, oh, look, I just don't want to work all that time. But Dan Hurley's still young enough. He's still got things going for him that he was, is yeah. not a guy that will necessarily say, right now, I need to get out of the game. Right now, he goes, I'm better, I'm better at the transfer portal than everybody. I'm better at NIL than everybody. I know how this system works better than anybody else. That's why I'm a two-time national champion. And he's, he, and he's at a school that's basketball first. That, that also to, matters these that days. That wants to pay me. <laughs> that wants to pay the players. That wants to do all this. Yeah. Or I and he's got to, time to go to the NBA because he's young, like you said. Yeah. He's got time. Or he's I go to the time. Lakers, who have fired two coaches already, yeah. and one of them won him a title in 2020. He's gone. They fired the next coach they hired after him. They've yeah. already gone through two of those. So I could easily come in. I'm going to be the scapegoat if we don't win in three years, and you'll fire me because you're not paying me enough to keep me. Because I need you to have yeah. a number that is going to be an incentive for you not to fire me. 